my focus today would be more to talk about opportunities that are arising because of climate change. And one of the things as plant breeders, I studied not very far away from here. I studied in GB Panth University and I was a plant breeder myself. And at that time, one of the breeding strategies, we did not breed for climate change. At that today, because of climate change, climate resilient agriculture is the need of the day. And that is where I see business opportunities springing forth. When you talk about value addition in chemical free farming, the product itself is value added. What you're bringing into the market has got a premium that is attached to it. But the bigger business model that emerges is because of the requirement of indigenous seed material. I was very happy to see uh, when uh, uh, Kanna Saab was talking about the use of blockchain and artificial intelligence in providing traceability to potato seed. Now this is the challenge in indigenous seed as well because if I give somebody 10 seeds he can make 10,000 seeds of that, he can sell it, next farmer sells it further. There is, there is no business model unlike hybrid or GMO seed industry where the farmer has to come back to me to buy every time. Using blockchain and artificial intelligence, I think there is going to be a huge market that is going to develop in indigenous seeds which will be a prime requirement in combating climate change. So Prabhakar Raoji, just back, coming back to you on this indigenous seeds, do you think there's a market for it? Do you think there's a business model that can be built? Or we have to look at philanthropists and civil society to, to take this forward? And where does Punjab come into this? <laughs> you know Ajay, I believe Punjab will take the lead in this because Punjab has actually been a forerunner in anything to do with agriculture. Uh, be it the green revolution, be it the white revolution, whatever. But Punjab has somehow been able to have that ability to see opportunity and dive straight into it. Now, vegetable seeds is going to be at least a 4,000 4, 4, crore uh, market. In, uh, it's already, I think, 4,000 crores. But in the next five years, it's going to easily double. Now, if the government itself can build up a platform for indigenous seeds much like what you may have done. I don't know the full details but I did think I was very excited to see that one on the potato seed. But if the government builds a platform then just see what it does to the farmer. Now suppose I am a seed keeper and I have put my varietal, uh, indigenous varietal on that platform. Every time that variety would get multiplied by any farmer because of using technology for traceability a system can be set up where every preceding generation of farmer could accrue a small percentage royalty just like a writer every time a book is published he will get something out of it now as a pyramid although that percentage will become smaller and smaller with every succeeding generation of multiplication because of the broad base that it will have in terms of value, it will be big. So for farmers as an additional source of income, even after he stops multiplying seed, it could be something that generates some sort of a retirement fund, I would think. But I think these are the kind of innovative models which the government of Punjab has the ability to embrace. Mr. Neil Kingston and Dr. Prabhakar Rao,